Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I appreciate you stopping by and hopefully we'll have some fun crafting this cute um, upcycling creation I did yesterday. And to be honest, I had no idea it would get all this attention, but it certainly has. And this one, for example, is a paper towel roll. I was in the process of chucking into the garbage when I stopped myself and I thought, what can I make with it? So this makes a cute journal embellishment. It can be a, a pocket tuck. It can be, a, you can put it on the side of your page with a paper clip. You can glue three sides down and use the back for an extra tuck spot. And obviously for tucking some gems inside. I covered it with scraps from my scrappy containers that sit nearby <clears throat> on my desk and I had some fun. So because it got a lot of attention and because I, well, I had over 500 comments and likes and many, many requests to do a quick tutorial. Uh, what's frustrating is I just finished this one. I, I taped it and I accidentally deleted it. So um, I'm not going to go through every step. I'm going to show you how to construct the roll and then you just have some fun decorating it on your own because that's really all it is. Once you construct it and you glue it and it's ready for your embellishments, then you don't need me to show you how to do that. I can show you maybe a quicker, a quicker look. I just take torn up pieces of paper and some word fetty, cover it in the back, layer it, add, you know, different textures. And I use my ink, my ink um, blender dabber, if you want, that's obviously optional. But I do like the look, like all of this here, I blended, I blended the ink around just because I think it looks nice. So <clears throat> I'm going to show you that right now, and I hope that you guys will have some fun making your own. So assume this is the toilet paper roll. I don't have any paper towel rolls on hand. I used it yesterday, but I will be saving them for now, from now on. So you take your paper towel, or sorry, your toilet paper roll before you cut it. Keep flatten it down. Use your bone folder to flatten it both sides. And then what you're going to get is it's going to open like this because you're going to cut one flat side open to open up your roll. Now you're going to see it's curly, it's a bit thick, all those things. That's very true. You want to be a little bit patient because you're going to need to flatten it a bit. I have a bone folder. You don't need a bone folder. You can use the edge of your scissors to flatten the edges and whatnot. So here we go. We're going to we're going to make it into the envelope now. Envelope tuck. So I'm going to use my bone folder. I'm trying to do this quietly <clears throat> because excuse me. Because I think it makes too much noise on a video. Sorry everybody. So there's the first part. You're going to fold up over half <clears throat> because now you don't want your, your uh, flap to be the same size, obviously. You want some room to tuck some fun things. <clears throat> so here's the flap. It's not the straightest because I'm at this point kind of tired of, of uh, making these because I, I just made two today and this one's my third and I accidentally deleted the video. Oh well, we're gonna do it again here. So you angle up to cut the top of the flap just to give it that, I think it adds a nice look. Gives it a bit of character. It's optional, you don't need to. I'm gonna do some blending here with my ink. Just over the top and the sides, every edge you want. This is optional, obviously but I do like to blend, especially if you're using like, you know, the cardboardy type materials. Gives it a bit of the edges pop a bit better. So before I glue it, I'm gonna give it some ink. That's good. So now we have <clears throat> that part is done. Didn't ink this very well. Okay, so let's open it up. And so the, the, your flap that you flap uh, that you fold up, you're going to glue the edges, just the side, 
of the actual flap. You don't want to glue the middle part. Because you want to have room to tuck your stuff. These make cute journaling embellishments or happy mail or it's not cooperating right now. You're going to find that these are a bit, obviously a bit thicker than paper. So you really want to work, work to getting it flat. This glue I'm using is decently strong too, and it's not grabbing for some strange reason. Hmm, interesting. We will persevere here. Maybe I just need to squish it down harder. Okay, so now we've constructed the little envelope. And imagine it being the paper towel roll would be this size. So essentially, they are the same shape. Okay, now we're going to look into the, uh, just find whatever odds and ends, pieces of, pieces of scrap that you're going to use to, let's take this one. There you go. That gives it a, I guess I am ending up doing this whole video over again and showing you from scratch. That's okay because I enjoy crafting with you all. I'd like to say a special hello to my new subbies. I'm so appreciative of every one of you. This is so much fun to, to craft together, especially during this COVID season. Don't see people, but we can enjoy each other online. It's not the same, but it's, it's nice. And I do appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to craft with me. All right, so there's a little bit of embellishing the front. I'm going to give this a layer. What should we layer it with? Okay. Let's use this. This looks like some sort of a tag. A poisonous label tag. Give it a cut here. Definitely got to give that one some some color, some ink. I'm using Tim Holtz Vintage Photo. That actually arrived in the mail yesterday. I used so much ink that um, I needed to replenish. So this goes on the front. Like that. Okay, let's let's decorate the little uh, flap here. So, I guess I'm in a tearing mood today. I like the tear look too. Hmm. You know what I'm going to do though? I'm going to give it angle the sides up just for some. <clears throat> there, that looks nice too for some continuity. I'm doing a really quick job here. Yeah, so I was just out visiting with my mother-in-law and her 102-year-old brother. His daughter brought, brought him to visit my mother-in-law because they haven't really seen each other with this COVID going on very much at all. So it was wonderful. Uncle John, is, he is so healthy. Well, I mean, he's 102, but he's doing so well for that age. And I met my husband's cousin and his wife. It was fun. All right, let's see. You know what? Let's do this because we're going to make another pocket at the back. Pocket after pocket after pocket. I should be using scraps with a bit more color, but you know what? I think we'll find some ways to make it pop anyway. That's going to be another pocket. I think what I'm going to do is just give it a little bit of a... There. Okay. I'm going to just glue the three sides. 
and then we'll stick it down and we'll find some fun things to stick in it. This, these would be really cute if you covered with book pages too. Oops, that's crooked. So yeah, book pages are really fun to use as well. But I think I'm gonna use this font just to give it some pop. Maybe we'll use the word Coleman because we can't fit all of it. Hmm, let's see. Kind of liking that, but I'm going to keep the bottom edge straight. And a little bit more cut off there. There we go. That's good enough. Some, some ink, 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 ink. The way I view garbage anymore, it's crazy. I don't see it as garbage. My mindset is always, what can I make out of that? Who'd have thunk, who'd have thunk toilet paper rolls and paper towel rolls could become really cute embellishments in our journals? But they are, and they're fun to make. So let's see, what can I stick? You know what, we're gonna cut these quickly. Because these will stick in that little pocket really nicely. I like to cut out things so I don't find that tedious at all. Look at that. Perfect. That's so cute. But what else can I find? I'm going to add a bit of color in here. You know what? Oh, this is going to be cute. All right, I'm down with that. After we embellish this with some color cut just cuts back the white a bit white is great if your whole if your whole um project is white but get this piece so down there i'm going to use this let's see should we use it for the front or the back mm, i think we're going to do it. i think we're going to do it right there that looks really cute well, well, I'm kind of glad I deleted that other video accidentally because now we've got, or I have four, ready to be put into some journals. There, that's kind of cute. Get rid of some of this garbage. See how it's coming along so quickly? Didn't take much at all, but we need... Oh, let's do some lace. Should we do some lace? Hmm, I don't think so. What does that look like? Could do some lace right there, but you know what? I'm not going to do lace. Hmm, what can we put there? Maybe I won't for now do anything because I think we've. This video is long enough for this little project. But that's. That gives you an idea. Let's see what we can put inside of it. <clears throat> that's why these little, uh, that's why these little pieces of scrap really do come in handy. You could put tickets in here. Let's see, this, well, that won't work, that won't fit, that's too big. Tickets, so you could put little Word, oh, look at that. Oh, I love burlap. You could use burlap. Oh, the possibilities are endless. I guess all this to say, let's see, it's just to have some fun. You know what? We're going to find something here. I have to finish it off. I can't just leave it. No, nope, that's too big. Do I have one already cut up here? Oh, this is cute. This is cute. That's good enough. We're going to use it. Doesn't match in any way, but that's okay. Who says you have to match all the time? I think I put too much glue at the bottom. 
So yeah, so this is it. How cute. You can tie them. You can stuff them. You can make all kinds of different variations of these. I'm, I'm assuming you can. I haven't tried, but but for now, this is what I've got for you, gals. I hope a few of you get inspired to make some of these too, because they're cute. Look at that. This is in my way, so therefore we must use it up. This is part of um, a signature that I sewed into one of my journals. This is called Waxed Thread. And it's asking me to tie this up. So that's what I'm going to do. Use it up. This is a big tie. I would cut some of that off here. but And there we have it. So there you go. I hope that you have some fun with these. Toilet paper, paper towel rolls. Um, yeah, they make really cute journaling embellishments. Or like I said, happy mail, gifts, little fun things, notes to slip to people. So thanks for watching, everybody. I am working on a project. I'm excited about it. So when I'm done, I will absolutely make a, a video of it for you to view and uh, hopefully inspire you to make the same thing. So stay tuned and have a wonderful day.